right. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today for our third walking workshop of March into May. The topic today is Parks and Rec 101, and it's all about our Salt Lake County Parks and Recreation Department and all the wonderful things they offer and how you can get involved and get your family involved as well. So I'm going to turn the time over to Doran Pitts and Eliza to introduce themselves and we'll get started. All right, hi team. This is I'm Duran Pitts. I'm the associate director. Like the next you hear it. Hi, and I'm Eliza Schofield. I'm the recreation section manager. And so we're going to be a little bit awkward today because we're trying to move with you. So we're going to walk around a little bit, and we just want to let you know where we are. We're on the uh, fourth floor of the South Building. That is where our administrative offices are. But what's really cool for employees is that we have our employee fitness center. So you might not even actually be aware of that. We have an employee fitness center over here on the South Building in the fourth floor. We're going to walk you through that today and just let you know that you get a huge benefit by being a Salt Lake County employee. And guess what? Your family does too. So um, Eliza is going to talk a little bit more about kind of what you can get here through classes, things, but we're going to first flip the camera and see where we are. Oh, I just turned it off. How do I flip my camera? Let's see. Just kidding. I can't flip it, but we're just going to go this way. So this is the South Building. Um, and we're at 600. So if you're feeling really inspired, you can come and get a sausage and <laughs> toast with some soda, which is kind of silly, but that is the art that is right next to our fitness center. Um, we do have schedules right here, class schedules um, on the door. So if you wanna join one of the classes, anyone can join. And what's really great is that it starts at noon, but if you have a noon meeting and you happen to get out at 1230, you can still come and join that class. You can jump in at any time. So it's not like a traditional workout class where you have to be there right when it starts and stay until the end. You can actually just join around your work schedule. So we make it very flexible. Oh, look, we've got a wonderful workout person right now <laughs> joining a class. We're going to follow her in. So it looks like. They're actually going to be doing TRX today, but so this is our wonderful fitness class um, area. So we have everything from stationary bikes, TRX, boxing over in the corner. Um, Anne, who's putting on her sweater over there, is our wonderful instructor. And if you ever have any questions, this is her desk. You can just come and visit her and ask what's going on and sign in for your class. So this is our fitness room. And then just right across the hall, we have an entire weight room that you can come and use with cardio equipment. You do need a code to get in. Sorry, and I just forgot my code here. Okay, here we go. You need a code to come in, but this is basically a semi-private uh, gym. There's very rarely is it full, um, but it's always got a little bit of activity, so you're never actually alone. But if you want to be, there are times a day that you can be as well. But as you can see, we have everything from rowers to steppers and other fitness machines. And then over here, and different circuit trainings. So we also have both a men's and a women's locker room. So if you come in early in the morning and want to get a workout, you can shower before you go to work. Or if you want to stay late, you can come and change, and then you can go ahead and get your workout on and go home and join the family. So this is what we have here just on site, but then we also have 21 different rec centers um, that we're going to go into a little bit more right now. So I'm going to pass that over to Eliza and she's going to talk a little bit about our amenities and different things that we have available throughout the valley. Hi everyone. Thank you. So yeah, as Duran just said, we do have 
are 21 recreation centers that are all around the valley. So maybe you aren't on site at the government center, maybe your location or somewhere near you is a little easier to get to, or you just want somewhere near your house because that works for you and your family. So we encourage you to get on our website and look at all of those, but I do want to talk a little bit about the amenities and some of the different things that our centers have because we have a little bit of everything. So our main component of our large centers have our fitness rooms that have fitness classes, just like we saw Anne putting on over here. Um, and with those, we have all sorts of classes. I actually brought a list of some of them so I could read to you because it just depends what type of different classes you like to do for the fitness classes. So we have bar, high fitness, lift, muscle mix, Pilates, we even have senior fitness classes, um, surge fit, surge strength, spin, sports conditioning, and many more. Um, we also have, um, sometimes with injuries or you just prefer it, we also have um, water aerobics classes where we have different ones like deep water and some of that includes like letting the muscles work hard with no stress a lot of that's the no impact we have a lot of individuals after a surgery or just it's a little easier on their bodies and their joints that like to do the aquatics part of that but we also have fun ones like um h2o boot camp and hydro tone so we have a whole bunch of different fun ones for that so you just have to look at um, our centers that have a pool for those specific classes. And then we have different recreation centers that have different, um, we have early morning fitness classes. We have midday, just like we uh, talked about here. And then we also have evening classes. So you'll have to look at some of those. Um, some of our different other amenities are, we have weight rooms in our rec centers. We also have walking tracks at some of them. So especially on these wintry days in our spring, that we've had recently you can go and you can get walk or run on our indoor tracks we also have a lot of fun activities like we have pickleball we have racquetball we have two of our locations have rock climbing walls which is a lot of fun for you or your family to come then we have ice rinks we have three ice sheets that we have um, that you can learn to skate and then also just come during um, our free time to skate on with your family or yourselves um, and that's some of our fun amenities um, we do have basketball courts um, we have some drop-in volleyball some dumb some fun things like that to do at our centers and then um did we want to talk about some of our fun programs that we okay. do too let's do mm -hmm. adult sports and then we'll go over to my okay programs. all right so <laughs> i'll i'll talk about some of our and sorry if I'm making you dizzy in the background. We are walking too. Um, we do have a lot of adult programs. Everybody knows about our youth programs that we do. Youth outdoor soccer and junior jazz and all of those fun things. But we have adult sports too that we know a lot of you cluing in here today may want to hear about. Um, we offer men's basketball and women's basketball. And we have all different skill levels. A lot of people think, oh, well. I never played, so I'm not going to be very good. But we have, we have levels for the very competitive. But then we have levels that we it is just recreation. It's just get out and having fun. And a lot of those you just join, you bring, you find uh, enough people, and you sign up as a team. Um, we do have through our sports office that is located in Murray. We have a lot of individuals that just reach out looking to join a team too. So they are able to help connect people as well. So if you're like, hey, I really enjoy playing basketball, but I don't have enough people to play, we can also try to help connect you to a team too. Um, another fun adult sport that we have is softball. And we have women's leagues, men's leagues, and co-ed. And that is the same as basketball that I explained is we have different levels. We have competitive, semi-competitive, and then we have recreation of, hey, I just want to get out, laugh with my friends and have fun. So we encourage everybody to look at that. Um, you just sign up as a team. So you just, we have some people get their offices together to sign up as a team. Then we have others that um, just get together a group of friends and come do it. And it is a blast. So we highly recommend that. We also have adult volleyball leagues and we have pickleball leagues and tournaments. 
We also have ultimate Frisbee, which is a blast that will get you in shape fast. <laughs> and um, then did you want to talk about corporate games or you want me to keep going with that? Okay. We also, if you guys haven't heard healthy lifestyles help set the Salt Lake County team up, but we do corporate games through our sports office. And the best way to describe that is it's almost like a mini Olympics and we have all different categories and sports and different programs. We have everything from darts to fishing to volleyball to softball. Um, so many fun different things. Cornhole, um, go-kart racing. Yeah, I mean, chime in with anything else too, Duran. And it is a blast. And Healthy Lifestyles does a great job of putting our teams together too. So you can, um, as that comes around, which is tip it is in August when the participation in the games go, but be watching because that's a lot of fun too. So that's some of um, our adult stuff and the different things that we have going on in our summers. And I'll pass the camera back to Duran. Awesome. Yeah, so there's lots of fun stuff going on for the whole family, but what's really cool in our biggest um, program project right now is you might have heard of it, the My County Rec Pass. So the My County Rec Pass is um, where we are just opening our doors to all of our rec centers free of charge for five through, or excuse me, youth aged kids five through 18. So if you are a Salt Lake County resident or, you know, your son or daughter is a Salt Lake County resident, they can go to the rec center and sign up. And as of June 1st, they will get into the doors for free. So that doesn't mean that they have free run of the place. We still do have rules in place <laughs> that they'll have to follow. Um, but we're really excited to open the doors and get more people excited and interested in moving their bodies and joining and being, you know, a community and being a really positive part of Salt Lake County recreation. So if you have any questions on that, you can go on to the Salt Lake County Reg um, Salt Lake County website and look up my county rec pass and you can actually start the registration um, online and then just finish it up as you go to a center and they'll help you take your picture and your kids will get in free on June 1st. So we're pretty excited about that. But um, we also understand that today is the solar eclipse. So we hope that some of you guys are walking outside. It's a little overcast. Um, but we wanted to see if there were any questions at this time because we do want to we understand that at 12 30 it's going to be the peak time here in the county so what questions do you all have and Sadie, did you want us to touch on anything else we do have one question in the chat and then i believe it was about adult sports do you have pickleball lessons do you know we do not have lessons at salt lake county yet probably something that we will have but as of right now at our salt lake county programs we do not have lessons so and I'll sure. <laughs> yes that would be really cool um and then another question is how much the employee fitness pass costs and if they're able to use it at more um, locations than at the government center yeah, absolutely. So the employee fitness pass, I believe, is $15 a paycheck. Um, and then for each additional member, um, I believe it is. Nope, just kidding. It's $15 a month plus a uh, dollar per uh, individual that you add on to it. So it is an all county rec pass, which means that you can go to any recreation center and use it there. So. You can purchase it here with us by coming up to the fourth floor and doing it that way through Anne, and then um, you can use it anywhere. Fabulous. And then we have a question on how can one get some classes during lunchtime as currently at the rec center near them, there's only one um, in the early hours. So are people able to request classes? Yes, absolutely. So you can um, go to your local rec center, talk with your front desk, ask for the manager or the coordinator, or even just the front desk, and just express your interest. Now, that doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to happen. Um, it also doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It just sometimes takes time to find those instructors that can make it work for their time frame as well. But absolutely, you're welcome to request anything. We're happy to you know, we're here for you. We're here for the community. So we want to make sure it works for everyone. 
And um, if it's not something that you're going to use, why would we do it? So let us know what you want and when you want it. And the next question is, is my county rec pass good at all rec centers or just the one that you sign up at? It is good. At I think our big confusion right now is there are a couple of rec centers um, like Cottonwood Heights that's not affiliated with us and Kearns Ochre Park that is not a Salt Lake County facility, but all of our 21 recreation centers it is good at. So please, 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 we are so excited about this. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Um, pre registration, like Duran said, is going on right now. You just have to go to any of your neighborhood rec centers, make sure to bring. Um, your an ID with address on it, or if you've moved recently, just um, a bill or something that has your current address. And then, yeah, you just bring your child, they'll take their picture. But that's the funnest part is after that, they can go swimming for free. They can um, come climbing on our climbing walls during our hours that that's available. They can come ice skating during the public skating hours. And that part is so neat. Uh, any parent that wants to come will have to have uh, membership, but for you Salt Lake County employees, like Duran just shared, it's very reasonable to just pay the monthly fee and then you can go with your kids all summer and go swimming till they can't swim anymore. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, and then we would just have a clarifying question about the employee fitness pass. If there are different prices for the membership. Um, I guess that's based on if you're going to all locations and if you want it for pools or the ice rinks, are there different levels to that? So there used to be, we recently changed that. Actually, we changed it with the 2024 budget. So um, just to simplify it for everybody, we went to just the one blanket price for an all county, all use pass. So some people that um, were probably already registered or signed up for it, they might have seen a money savings um, once 2024 hit. Others might have seen a slight increase. However, that being said, now they have um, the ability to use all centers. And is there a maximum number of passes you are giving out for the all county rec pass for the five to 18 year olds? There is not. If you are a Salt Lake County resident and you're between five and 18, you come at it. I mean, if we have a million people sign up, we're excited about that. So no, there's no cap. There's no limit to it. I will be honest. It is a one year pilot program. We did. Um, that was the approval that was through the council. But every one of our programs is a pilot year. We always want to make sure that we're giving quality and not just throwing something out there. So. Um, it is open for everyone and we're excited to have, like I said, a million, two million, five million, bring them on. We're excited <laughs> to bring those in our doors. And if their child wants to sign up for some youth sports, is that separate from the rec pass? It is. So the My County Rec Pass is really just admission to the facility. Anything on top of that is going to be the same as it is now. You still have to register and go through the payment um, system. Now, in future years, um, our fingers are crossed that this is a huge success and we may be able to offer some discounts to those that are registered for the My County Rec Pass. But as of right now, it is really just opening those doors to our uh, facilities. But let me add on to that. Um, our youth sports are very reasonably priced too. Yes. Our biggest focus with Salt Lake County Recreation <clears throat> is to make sure we're doing the best we can to provide services for all. If you look at a lot of the private sectors and different parts, it can get pretty pricey, but we do our best to keep the costs as low as possible. So although you do have to pay additional fees, we do um, try our best to keep the those costs down for our youth. Oh, and we do have other avenues too. So. Um, if it, there's income or things like that, it with, uh, if they get free and reduced lunches through the school, we give a discount with that. Um, if the dollar amount, if they don't make enough, we may, if we do a scholarship program that we can get the kids in through that way. So if there's talk to your local recreation centers and we can help navigate through any of those, if you guys have questions with that stuff as well. 
And for your kids that are under five years old and you want to use the rec centers to get some movement in, are there is there childcare available? With oh, let me take that yes. one. <laughs> So unfortunately, we no longer have drop-in childcare at the majority of our centers. I believe one or two still offer drop-in childcare. I want to say that Jean Fulmer is one of them. Um, that being said, uh, post-COVID, we really um, evaluated everything, and that was one of those that unfortunately didn't make the cut, if you will, but only because it actually wasn't being used uh, nearly as much as it was pre-COVID. And so we haven't shut down those facilities in the sense of never reopening it again, but right now um, it is not in the plans to offer drop in child care at the majority of our centers. Thank you for clearing that up um, and then uh, with the all county rec pass, I wanted to ask you about some adaptive re recreation for those kids that need it. Is that available? Absolutely. We have an amazing adaptive crew that works across all 21 centers. Um, they are view recreation center and that's in Midvale and they are um, they're fantastic. They're phenomenal. If you ever need inclusion or adaptive or even just have a question, uh, they can help you. So reach out to us and we can connect you with the proper person. But we have everything from Miracle League baseball to um, you know, just inclusionary opportunities within our current programs of junior jazz, you know, so they are really wonderful at working with all families and with all needs. Uh, we have aquatics, adaptive aquatics programs as well that give special attention to those that might need it in different avenues. So, yes, the, I would say the best way to learn more about that is if you have the need or if you have any questions would be to reach out to them directly. Thank you so, so much. I don't see any more questions and I want to leave time for you to enjoy the eclipse, even if you're not able to see it, just to bask in it and know that it's happening. <laughs> um, thank you both so, so very much. You covered a lot of information in such a short time and I'm excited to see that, you know, you're also walking while doing the workshop, We're but it can be done. It wouldn't be recreation if we weren't moving a little bit, right? Um, I will say the last thing I'll say is if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to recreation at slco.org. Actually, we're now the Salt Lake County .gov. So mm -hmm. recreation at Salt Lake County .gov, um, or you can call uh, our extension is 1800. That's our front desk and they have all the, you know, the resources to answer any questions or give you to who can. So Please use our resources. We're super happy to answer any questions you have and look forward to seeing you in a rec center soon. Thank you so much. Thanks. We hope to see all of you. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll see you all at the next walking workshop, April 16th, the joy of movement. But I'm going to log off so that you can all at least go outside and, you know, be able to write in your journals that you were at the so have a fantastic day and we will see you next time.